One of the most important aspects to your blues rhythm playing is the trill. Let's talk about that. Stay tuned. One of the key elements to playing blues is the juxtaposition of the minor third and the major third over dominant seven chords. That's the sound of the blues. If I have an A7 chord and I play a minor pentatonic, I've got that flat third here, right? And while that probably shouldn't work, we love the way it sounds with those two notes that are right next to each other, the th major third in the chord, the minor third often with the microtone bend on it, um, sitting right next to it, or usually an octave away, actually, in the scheme of things. If we're a piano player, we hint at uh, that a lot of times by moving from the flat three to the major three. Making that little quick grace note on the flat three to make that sound. And as guitar players, we tend to pick that up. We'll play, here I'm playing the five on the second string for my A, the three, is on the third string and I'm quickly hammering on to the major third. Right, we start adding things in front of that like uh, the four uh, and the six here on the second and third string, just uh, uh, one fret up, or two frets up actually, one whole step up. So that's four and six, moving down to five and flat three, and then hammered on. So for A, that's how that works. So instead of just playing which works or which also works, now we can play around with that flat third, right? When we move to the four chord, which will be our D, right? Now the minor third is here on the second string, uh, and the major third is here uh, on the second string. So minor third will be would look almost like a uh, a D shape. That's the flat seven, and that's the five up top, and then that's the minor third. And we can use our pinky, or you can play it this way and hammer on with your third finger to get to the major third. And then the four and the six, well actually, since this is the five, that's the six, and that's a three, that's a four, so we have this guy right here and we can add our one on top. So that looks like a D shape. We come down here and then hammer on, right? And then back to the A. Obviously the five would look just the same, just a whole step up. All right, so all three positions there, and we have that major and minor third um, moving back and forth, the grace note on the flat three moving to a solid or actually almost sometimes trilled major third, and that's how we get that sound. You can put that almost anywhere, right? It's always there if you listen really closely. All right. That's the long and short of it. Have fun.